Hi everyone. Welcome to the session. Uh, in this session, I am going to guide you through uh, performing a scenario analysis uh, using an excellent tool in Excel called uh, Data Validation, especially the List function. When you find yourself at a crossroad, uh, facing a crucial decision uh, regarding an investment project, scenario analysis becomes invaluable. It enables you to evaluate the associated risks and help you in identifying strategies to mitigate those risks before committing to an investment. So let's dive into this session where I will be demonstrating the process of conducting a scenario analysis. First and foremost, to perform this analysis, we need some variables. By changing these variables, we can see uh, what is the impact on the overall result. In this case, I will assume two variables for simplicity purpose. You can use any number of variables. The two variables will be sales and cost of sales. Now, when you take uh, sales minus cost of sales, the result will be gross profit. I want to see the result when you change these numbers. Let's assign some numbers. Sales will be 1000 and cost of sales will be uh, 500. So my gross profit will be 500. So this is the gross profit. So now I just want to see by changing uh, these two variables by changing these two variables how it's going to impact uh, my profit so this is what I'm going to uh, calculate so in order to see the impact on the gross profit what we have to do is we need to see the impact on these two variables for that what we need is uh, we need a range of uh, percentages to perform this analysis we can assume upside scenario, let's say 3%, 5%, and 10%, then uh, this is 0%, then we'll assume a downside scenario from 3%, minus 5%, minus 10%. So this is the downward scenario, this is the upward uh, upside scenario, this is the downside scenario. Now since we are going to perform the uh, scenario analysis for these two variables, so what you can do is you can just uh, keep the cell here and go to data validation and choose list function, then you have to give the range, you select the range, then click OK. So as you as you do that, you can see there's a drop down list. Okay, in front of sales, you can see there's a drop down list. So you can uh, move on this drop down list and you can choose whatever the percentages. So we'll just put it percentage. Okay, if you want 3%, 5%, 10% or if you want to see what is the uh, downside scenarios minus 3% minus 5% minus 10% so easily you can uh, move on this drop down list and if you want to perform the same uh, analysis on cost of sales also what you can do is just drag down this down so that it will copy the entire uh, range 3% 5% and here also you can see 3%, 5%. Okay, now let's see how you're gonna link these percentages to these uh, variables. Okay, now in order to do that, what you need to do is just open this and put a equal sign. Then you need to multiply this times open bracket 1 plus the 3%. So then you can see the impact as you can see it was 1000 now it is 1030 so as a result of that what happened 
to your gross profit gross profit increase uh, from 500 to 530 as you increase this by 10 percent so it increases the gross profit also increases now let's apply the same thing to the cost of sales also times 1 plus the percentage so as you can see the 500 if you increase by 3 percent here the cost increases as a result of that the gross profit also decreases by 3 percent okay so if you want to retain it zero without the percentages any changes you can see the base case scenario this is the base case scenario 500 and let's say 3% increase it increases by 530 and also the cost increases by 3% so as a result of that the gross profit also reduced by 5% now let's see the downside scenario you reduce the uh, sales by 3% you can see the sales uh, reduced by uh, 30 so it was 1000 now 970 and cost of sales also you can say let's say it reduced by 10% now from 500 to 450 so the profit increase by 520 scenario analysis is incredibly valuable for decision making and financial planning so it will help us to identify critical variables and evaluate the potential risks and opportunities associated with different scenarios by understanding the scenarios of various models we can make more informed decisions and mitigate potential risks. That basically wraps up my explanation on scenario analysis in Excel using data validation and the list function. I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.